uh, Bizarre Voice has done some studies in terms of, you know, before a, a shopper actually makes that purchase, you know, 77 to 80 uh, percent of them do also, you know, read extensively the reviews that are on that product page. It's hard to remember way back then. All right. Well, hello, and thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Brooke McNeely. I am the VP of Marketing with White Spider, and I am joined today with our guest. Uh, we have uh, Scott Benedict, our VP of Partnerships uh, with, with, with White Spider. And then we also have Sean L uh, Lynn with Bizarre Voice. And Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Bizarre Voice? Awesome. Thanks for having me. Brooke and Scott. Yeah, I am the director of partnerships here at Bizarre Voice. Uh, and for the audience, if you're not familiar with Bizarre Voice, we help brands and retailers collect uh, user generated content to help inspire confident uh, purchases from the consumer market. That is really exciting. And I'm so glad that you're here because today we want to talk about user generated content. So Scott, um, what is user? What is UGC? So UGC is the is the industry acronym for user generated content, and I think most of us think first of all about UGC as ratings and reviews, and that certainly is the the most familiar part. But uh, it can be uh, questions and answers on an item page. It can be videos or photos that are put onto an item page by user to describe their experience with an item. But uh, really the thing that is most frequently thought of as the main component of user generated content is ratings and reviews. That's exciting. Sh uh, Sean, do you want to add anything to that? Yeah, uh, Scott, you're, you're absolutely right. I think uh, when people think of user, gener con user generated content, it is about the ratings and reviews. Typically, you know, as the internet uh, started, that was really where user generated content started as well. But as time has evolved and as the internet uh, and e-commerce has matured over time, you know, that user generated content has really evolved with it as well. So in addition to the text based type of reviews, we're now able to also utilize imagery that uh, people share about their experiences with products um, and also, uh, you know, pull in social content as well. So user generated content, it's at, at its core stars, ratings, uh, user reviews, but it's also, you know, more in terms of multimedia imagery, video. Um, so it's evolved quite a bit. Yeah, this is kind of where influencers come into play and stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, and so the influencer community is uh, a, a very powerful community. You know, I think as, uh, again, as the internet has matured, so has, you know, the way shoppers shop and the way that they consume um, media to inform their purchases. So I think influencers um, out in the, in, in, mar in the market today have an immense uh, power and sway of consumers' thoughts and mind uh, and mindset about products and the branding, so uh, Bizarre Voice has recognized this as well, and we have an influencer community of over six million um, users globally that we can tap into to help uh, brands and retailers um, generate user-generated content from this powerful community. That's exciting. Yeah, that was going to be my next question, too, is what does uh, um, Bizarre Voice do to generate user, uh, UGC? Yeah, we, we have a variety of uh, ways, uh, but our uh, I think at a high level, think of Bizarre Voice as a platform to really help accelerate and drive um, your e-commerce business. And there's different components to the Bizarre Voice platform to help uh, to help you achieve your goals. So again, user generated content at our, at our core, we've evolved over time with, uh, with the market. Uh, so we have social commerce, which is our ability to pull in uh, user generated content across social media platforms. 
to help brands identify, you know, what users and what what other influencers are saying out there and the images that they're sharing about the products. So we have the social commerce piece. We have um, we have the influencer community of of over six million that we can tap into to help generate user generated content. Um, you know, they're passionate about um, the products that they're using. The you know they're writing organic reviews. Um, we're also able to you know run promotions and different types of ways of generating content um, via that community. We also leverage email uh, through our post interaction email, which is also a, an extremely powerful way of collecting organic content from people who have actually purchased your product. Um, and you know we can we can set time time delays on on that uh, post interaction email so that you know the user has had adequate time to you know actually interact with the product and form a, a, an opinion. And so yeah, uh, bizarre voice. We we have a variety of ways. Yeah, sounds like you can do it all. <laughs> That's really awesome. And so what is the importance of reviews and how do they affect shopper purchasing decisions? Oh, Sean, I, I want to I wanna take this one because <laughs> I, I've got it not only from the perspective of knowing uh, you and the team at Bizarre Voice for a number of years, but uh, from my perspective as a, as a former retailer, I think the big thing, Brooke, that has really been uh, the most valuable component of user-generated content is its feedback about a product from a trusted source. In other words, a consumer who's considering purchasing a product, yeah, that they'll look at content that comes from the brand, they'll look at the marketing materials, but nothing speaks as loudly to a consumer as what another consumer who bought that product, who owns that product, thinks about that product. So that's where the, the, the real genesis of the value and of the power of user generated content comes from, from that perspective. The interesting thing is that originally UGC was conceived of as a driver of, of conversion on a, on a website. And obviously that's still its core purpose, but we live in a world now with mobile devices to where a lot of times a consumer is sitting there with their mobile device in hand in a physical store and making a purchase decision, do I want this item or do I want that item? In the use case where uh, that consumer is pulling out their phones and looking up the reviews while they make a decision in a physical store is as powerful as when they're sitting in front of a computer at home making a purchase decision. So its, it's power has been amplified as a consumer decision tool over the course of time, as, as Sean mentioned, as e-commerce has matured and it's just that much more uh, powerful. The other thing I'll tell you real quick is that it's also a tremendous feedback tool to both the retailer and to the brand or the manufacturer of that product because nothing is more powerful than the voice of a consumer who has actually bought and used your product to give you feedback on, on whether they like it or don't like it, what they like, what they don't like, and how you can continue to improve that product over time. So not only is it valuable to the consumer who's making a purchase decision, but it's really valuable too to the retailer and to the brand owner of, of, of a given product. That's really cool. I know I saw a stat, Sean, of the of the Bizarre Voice stuff that you guys sent over, and it said something like 95% of shoppers rely on reviews. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. And I you know, I, if I think about my own experiences, you know, shopping online, you know, when when don't we look at a review to, <laughs> you know, validate um, you know, whether or not we want to purchase or not. Like if if you see a product page today without any reviews, uh, I think it raises some red flags, at least with mm -hmm. me. Scott, any any feelings on that? Yes, yeah, Scott, what do you think about when you see when, when you see no reviews? Well, that that's the thing is, is that 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 feels like a kind of a disappointment in the eyes of a, of a user, of a consumer, uh, whether it's on a, the desktop website or on a mobile app. And, and so uh, for a brand, even if the brand has had items on that website for a long time and all of their other items have got plenty of reviews, 
that item is never going to uh, is never going to really get considered by a user by a consumer as much and i think that's part of why we see such value in this partnership with bizarre voice because our clients at white spider are always looking for ways to drive their online business with with walmart and the work that we do with them, obviously, with content optimization and things of this nature are important. But those things that we do work very much hand in hand with, with what Bizarre Voice's platform uh, does to really increase the power and the value of that product detail page and to improve the customer's shopping experience. So that's why this collaboration, this partnership just made so much sense to us. That's exciting. Go ahead, Go ahead Sean. I love this partnership, Scott. I think you nailed it on the head. Um, you know, in addition to uh, the, I think it was the 95% stat that you were referencing earlier, Brooke, mm -hmm. we also, uh, Bizarre Voice has done some studies in terms of, you know, before a, a shopper actually makes that purchase, you know, 77 to 80% uh, of them do also, you know, read extensively the reviews that are on that product page. And, you know, the, the reviews that are being written you know, whether it's good or bad, you know, the, it's important that, you know, the, the, the user is able to see, you know, bad experiences as, as well. I think there's a balance, you know, if it's only positive reviews, sometimes that can also raise question marks in terms of, you know, is it really this great, you know? So that's also a, a key, um, I think, benefit to reviews is, you know, sometimes, you know, a user might not have the best experience and, you know, I, I want to read about it too and, and, and learn what happened in that <laughs> case. And I think also for the manufacturer and the retailer, I think it's, it's really valuable data to have that, um, you know, both the positive and the bad. Yeah, I, I would agree, uh, and Sean. And uh, Sean, I'm, I'm going to really hopefully not only impress you, but your colleagues at Bizarre Voice, because I'm going to recite back to you some things that was taught to me by your colleagues at Bizarre Voice in a, in a prior life when I was with samsclub.com. But here's some data that Bizarre Voice taught me, Brooke, that mm -hmm. I think our, our listeners are going to be interested in. User-generated content provides a lift in, in site traffic generally because the ratings and reviews are indexable by Google and other uh, search platforms. So there, there's a lift in traffic to a page from user-generated content that if you're the brand owner, if you're one of our, our shared clients between us and Bizarre Voice, that's a, that's a big deal. Conversion rates generally improve by as much as 15% on uh, product pages that have reviews versus those that don't. You generally reduce returns, and this is obviously a big deal both to the retailer uh, and to the to the brand uh, by several percentage points when reviews are present. Because again, a a, a consumer makes a more informed product decision. Generally, uh, item pages that have ratings and reviews have higher average order size and average order value. So the number of items and the dollar value of the items uh, in the cart. And again, the, the, the value in that feedback, not only about the item, but about the content, ha has the consumer been able to learn and make an informed decision based on the content that you have there or the things that maybe are missing. Those are all elements of value that I, I can attest to as a, as a former retailer, Sean, and, and these are things that that uh, your colleagues at Bizarre Voice taught me back uh, many, many years ago that I think are still very much practical benefits of UGC to this day. That's really yeah. cool. Good. I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up, Scott. I think one of the key benefits, or one of the key benefits out of many, uh, as you mentioned at the, at the beginning of, uh, of what you're saying in terms of SEO, search engine optimization, the benefits cannot be understated. If you think about a product page, a product description, it's generally pretty, uh, I think, stagnant. You know, a, a, a description of a product doesn't change much over time. In order to keep the content fresh on a page, that's really where user-generated content shines because it's it's a living page. It's dynamic. 
people are writing reviews, they're posting imagery. And then, you know, who's, who likes it the most? The Google uh, algorithms. Yeah. They want to be able to, to deliver to people searching relevant content. And UGC helps, um, you know, tell the algorithm that, you know, people are actively engaged in this, uh, on this page. Yeah, Sean, this is where I learned the term recency uh from those from my uh from my my friends of bizarre voice that the recency of a content element on a page has an seo value and to sean's point the 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 total product description on a page doesn't change all that often but ratings and reviews are coming in all the time so with more ratings and reviews that's seen as fresh content by search engines in the SEO benefit, the SEO performance of that page goes up as a result. And, and I know our shared clients between uh, White Spider and Bizarre Voice, that's, that really resonates with them when you, when you share that information with them. So Yeah, yeah. That, was, that wanted to um, kind of bring you back to the next question, mm -hmm. is that why is it important to have excellent content and reviews on the same page you just because you want to have you want you want to be able to bring people to the page you want them to learn about the yeah. item with the excellent content yeah. and then read the reviews um you know yeah. so well I, i'll take that but i want sean to weigh in as well but I, here's what i'll tell you brooke is think about the work that a product detail page has to do for the retailer or for the brand it is where the it is the moment of truth it is where the decision to buy or not buy occurs and now it's not just to buy online or not it's to it may be to buy in a physical store as well like we, we were talking about earlier but so the content on the page optimizing the content complemented with ratings and reviews content on that page user generated content those things work together to drive the performance of an item page and nothing in a website with the possible exception of the checkout and you, nothing gets checked out if you don't find it and decide to buy it so i guess I, i'll still say the product detail page is the most powerful element of a digital experience for the consumer for the retailer, for the brand. And so what we do and what Bizarre Voice does really works together to, to drive results, to drive a better customer experience and to drive purchase, right, Sean? Absolutely, Scott. I would also add, this is uh, the product page is also a way for consumers and the brands or the retailer to interact in terms of, you know, Sometimes I have questions about a product. Sometimes other people have questions about a product. How do I get answers uh, about that product? Well, we have a questions and answers um, portion of Bizarre Voice as well that many of our brand clients and retailers also utilize. Mm -hmm. But this is also, you know, this is a channel for, for brands and consumers to interact through questions and answers. And that also adds to the SEO benefits as well with recency. Yep. That's awesome. And I wanted to know, um, just kind of, you know, what is a good number of reviews? Like how many reviews do you need to have on your page before you really start seeing either the SEO or just, you know, people kind of, it builds that um, consumer trust. What have you seen, Sean? I would, you know, there's, there's a science to this answer, but I think the simple summary here is the more reviews, the better. Uh, and I would say zero reviews, you're not going to have much success. At 10 reviews, you're going to start seeing immediate benefits. At 100 reviews, you're going to see a lot of benefits. And it, it continues to grow um, the benefits uh, as your reviews grow. So it, it's, it's, it's paramount for a successful product uh, page. Yeah. And Brooke, I'll tell you, building on Sean's point, you know, if I'm listening to our, our conversation today and I'm a brand who sells on walmart.com or samsclub.com, you know, the first thing that would occur to me is, uh, okay, if you've sold me on this idea, how do I make that happen? And particularly in the case of a, of a new product, even if it's an established brand who's been on walmart.com or samsclub.com for many years, how do I make that happen? And part of what our team at White Spider has done is, is in our uh, SKU Ninja platform, 
we do uh, we have a capability called Walmart Search Boost, which allows the user, whether it's a member of our team or of our client's team, who's trying to figure out how do how do I increase the the search performance of my item. And if they find that a lack of reviews, a lack of user generated content is the driver of that mess, there's a link on our SKU Ninja platform that leads straight in to a, a co-branded uh, a landing page that Bizarre Voice hosts that allows that client to sign up right then for some of the great programs that Bizarre Voice has that lets you solve that problem. We've always prided ourselves a white spider that skew ninja isn't just an analysis tool it's a practitioner's tool that lets you solve problems drive a business outcome and now with this partnership with bizarre voice we've offered yet another way to solve that problem if you're one of our clients to get more reviews uh and to, and to drive the benefit that we've been talking about through this this conversation today yeah, and um, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about the partnership a little bit more. Yeah. And so this kind of this is the last question, which is, you know, um, <laughs> why why did we, uh, why did um, Bizarre Voice and White Spider decide that you know this, that we are a good synergy, like there's a good fit, yeah. and you know, just kind of where did that where did that come from? Yeah, so I'll, I'll start that one, Sean, but I want you to weigh in as well. I, here's the thing, Brooke is is before I I came to work uh, at uh, White Spider. Uh, I used to manage the relationship between Bizarre Voice and samsclub.com when I worked there. And through that time, and I've kind of referenced it in the conversation, I learned just how powerful what Bizarre Voice does in making a item detail page, a product detail page productive. Then now, obviously, since I've been with White Spider, I know the work that we do. And so it just it felt like a natural collaboration because the, the two of us really provide solutions for our clients, for the brands that sell on Walmart.com and Samsung.com to drive a business outcome in a way. And so it just felt like a natural, logical thing for us to work together to solve our clients' challenges. Yeah. Sean, what about you? Do you, you have anything to add? Yeah, Scott, I, I, you know, I really appreciated when you, you reached out um, and we got connected. And I think within, the, you know, the first five minutes of, you know, speaking with you, it was uh, it, it was a it was a natural fit. I think, you know, what Skew Ninja and White Spider are, are doing to help your your clients makes a ton of sense. You know, Walmart is is, um, is there's so many things to navigate. It sounds like your platform can really help your clients. And then at the same time, when, you know, there's opportunity to improve the ratings and reviews content on, on a page, you know, that's, that's where our, our bizarre voice comes into play with the solutions that, that we've been touching on earlier on this, on this podcast. So I, I love it. I think it's going to help solve a lot of problems and make people's lives easier and consumers will also benefit from, from better products. All right. Well, thank you, Sean, for being here. And uh, hooray for our new partnership with Bizarre Boy. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And uh, so, yes, thank you guys for both be being here. This has been uh, a great conversation, and I look forward to doing more.